Tank, you always said a focus tank is a dangerous tank, and you seem more focused now than I've ever known you. You know, he got one of the biggest tanks in boxing, and uh, this is the type of fight, you know, that'll um, skyrocket my, my name up there. June 26th, State Farm Arena, a night in which Baltimore's hometown hero returns to the square circle for one more showdown. You shouldn't call him the tank, he should be the sports car, because once he goes, his speed is impressive, champ. This time, though, against a 140-pounder who's yet to taste defeat either. Moving up 10 pounds in weight, Gervonta now takes one more bite into his hunger for greatness as he collides worlds with a heavy-handed opponent in an attempt to conquer a third weight division. Davis confidence is growing by the second. So before we dive deeper, click that subscribe button and give a thumbs up so we take a look at Gervonta Davis versus Mario Barrios. After displaying one of the most vicious knockouts of his career in his bout with Santa Cruz, it's now come to the attention of most that Gervonta Davis has become one of boxing's most prominent punchers. And as we look back over a career of endless stoppages, it's obvious that anyone less than elite in the levels department just simply doesn't stand a chance. in the third round. The power of Davis, and Walsh just couldn't play with it. With the weight cuts making life difficult for Davis down at Super Feather, the move up to lightweight was said to be a wise one from his peers. And packed with rivals such as Garcia, Haney, and Teo, it was just as anticipated to say the least. Feel like you lost any power going up in weight? No, it does Gamble. Um, he's a great opponent and things like that. We can't take nothing away from Gamble. Although only facing one opponent at lightweight, it's been difficult to say if Tank fares well against physically bigger opposition. Has a subpar performance against a faded version of Gamboa, lacked the viewing points we needed to see to draw a further conclusion. And whilst his lightweight foes failed to make the fight with Davis they'd all been crying out for, it's an unexpected challenger up at super lightweight that gets his shot to derail the tank in a world title showdown. Neither one of us wants to lose our own, but you know, someone has to and uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm do whatever it takes to make sure that's not me. Do you feel some type of way about it as far as the concerns you're gonna have once you face him? Mm, no, 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 no concerns. You know, at the end of the day, I mean, I'm, I'm the bigger guy. You know, he's coming up. With 26 wins and zero losses, Barrio stands as an undefeated fighter just like Davis. And with a high percentage of knockouts on his own resume, he's not the type of fighter you want to be absorbing too much punishment from over 12 rounds. Don't fight for Tank. I don't need to fight for Tank. You know he's he's very strong, but he's not naturally big like 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 Barros. Barros is a big dude. Who's Barrios that they don't know who he is? That they say that Jermaine is gonna have any uh, any fight, but Barrios know he fights. But that being said, Barrios doesn't quite carry that explosiveness to that of Tanks. And when both men collide at center ring, the speed and pop Gervonta possesses will most likely be the get out free jail card he needs on the night. After taking into consideration the controversial win Barrios gained to win the WBA regular title back in late 2019, it will be crucial in his second defense against Davis that he's sharp and ready for what's coming, as facing Tank Davis leaves little to no margin for errors. And speed on display from Davis, and there's the liver shot that drops Quajar. However, the San Antonio boxer begs to differ as the jump from 135 to 140 may be too much for Tank, due to only standing at only 5 feet 5 inches tall, putting him at a severe size disadvantage against anyone 
and everyone in that weight class. At the end of the day, it's Gervonta who has to prove, you know, he can jump up, you know, and he can handle, you know, being in there with, you know, a full-blown uh, junior welterweight. Standing side by side, it's plain as day that Mario carries all the physical attributes. And with a couple more wins on his unblemished resume, he doesn't trail far behind either. But when it comes down to levels and experience, Davis has proved himself on many occasions, knocking out high-level opposition whenever he feels like it. It's not that he can't take the heat, but if he's skipping weight classes, he's definitely turning the heat up, and he's demanding more out of himself, and I look forward to seeing how he performs. It still seems if Gervonta was to overlook Barrios at this stage, it could be a huge mistake. After the majority of his latest opponents to date were arguably out of their prime, and lack that prospect hunger that Barrios will bring with him. And showing a battle-tested chin in previous bouts, the tough and ready Texan isn't likely to go down without a fight. He's gonna find out, you know, what it's like to be in the ring with El Azteca. What did I mean? Boy. Being part of Team Mayweather, it's no secret that risk to reward plays a big part when making fights. And with Tang's team having viewed and pinpointed Barrios' weaknesses in each performance, it does question to whether they knew exactly what they were doing in selecting such an opponent in the first place. And I'm gonna be very honest, this is not a fight that I like. It's just not something that, that this would, as a, from the promoter side, I would be screaming to raise my hand and say, let's go do that. The size difference does seem to be the main concern for most, but with Tank also moving up in weight, could failing to stop Barrios early lead to further issues when moving into the championship rounds. Davis, 22 years of age, still showing composure, teeing off on Pedraza. We know it's still an unknown weight class for Davis, and if he does come in a little heavier than expected, may favor his opponent as speed and work rate will play a major factor for both men. You don't want to kick yourself too. Oh, down to his knees in pain. Velasco after a quick delivery. Southpaw versus Orthodox. It'll be a thrilling affair to say the least. And with one man being the obvious favorite, it will no doubt force the hand of the other to pull out their best tools for the occasion, going to places they have never been before. Davis smokes Gamboa like a Cuban cigar. Should Tank win convincingly, the bout could potentially open the floodgates to a whole new stack of opposition, including a possible mega fight with newly crowned undisputed champ Josh Taylor. How do you feel like that fight plays out between you and him? I'll probably stop him in the late rounds. I believe so. The possibilities are endless, but one thing is for certain. If Davis manages to pull off the knockout, he will have proven he has a special type of power. A power that presents a threat to anyone who dares to stand in front of him at any weight.